performance synthesis is a technique where you um, emulate the way the human throat works, or well, the human mouth and the throat work, to filter a carrier signal into certain vowels or different kinds of sounds. Um, in this case, I'm using three filters set to uh, bandpass mode with a very high Q factor to filter a carrier signal that is composed from 18 sine waves that have been added together. I'm also using a noise signal um, to emulate breath noise, but uh, it doesn't really work very well, so I'm probably going to take it out. Uh, and the, the uh, cutoff frequencies for the filters are taken from a table of formant frequencies that I found in the internet uh, for, like I think, three vowels or so. Um, I can also do variable vibrato and, and variable depth. Well, no, I can do vibrato with variable depth and rate. Um, there is also some wobbliness added to the fundamental frequency of the voice using a noise signal to make it more natural, because if you uh, have a very fixed uh, fundamental frequency, it sounds like a robot. It, well, it still sounds kind of like a robot, but it sounds less like a robot now, because if you don't do this, you, sometimes you can't even tell what vowel it is. So it's a good idea to do it, but don't overdo it, though. Um, yeah, so let's kind of listen to it now. filtered according to the um, frequency of the voice and you know, the signal. And I can change the vibrato rate to make it sound more like James Lebrun or something. Filter is changing here when I change the vowels. You know, 
doing consonants, which is a lot harder because, well, I, the way I think it's done is you take a noise signal and you filter it in a specific way and you make it percussive, so you give it an envelope, so it sounds like p -p -p. So it's percussive, it's a popping noise. And you filter it in different ways and that gives you different consonants and you follow up the, um, the percussive noise with a vowel just like one of these. And then you have to do fricatives, which are harder. And I found a huge um, article, a huge kind of paper from MIT about it, which I am going to read tonight. Um, I'm doing fricatives, which I think is just filtering noise signals in different ways. But yeah, this is a very simple model, so you know it's it's simple, but it sounds good. It, I I would use this in a song, for example. I think it sounds good uh, in a weird way. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Oh, by the way, one more thing. These signals are all... I mean, the way that they, they derive these Forman frequencies is they analyzed an actual singer or multiple, or multiple singers or, or, or just people. Um, and they analyzed the frequency response of their voice. Uh, but I haven't been able to find any actual... Uh, any, any female models. They're all... They all appear, appear to be male models. I just... I just assume it's hard for scientists to find females to analyze. Um, but uh, if anybody can give me a list of formant frequencies for a female singer, that'd be great. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.